Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Gateway Theatre, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hello boys and girls, mommies and daddies, welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling. My name is Duane and today to celebrate Gateway Kids Club's third birthday, I have a special story for you. Follow Little Red on an adventure through the forest as she tries to find the three perfect gifts for the princess's third birthday. But keep your eyes peeled for some of the familiar characters from our past stories that you might find along the way. And because Gateway Theatre is turning three, I want you to do something for me, okay? I need you to spot as many things that come in threes throughout the story. Can you do that? because after the story, I will be asking you of those that you remember. Okay, boys and girls, mummies and daddies, are you ready for the story? Presenting to you, Little Red and the Three Gifts. Here's your basket, Little Red. Now, on your way to the castle, I will need you to pick up three items. Number one, a birthday card. Number two, a birthday cake. Number three, a birthday present. I'm sure the king and the queen's three-year-old daughter will be delighted. Now, Little Red, we all know you tend to get a little distracted sometimes. So here are three instructions. Number one, pick up the three items. Number two, go straight to the castle. Number three, don't talk to strangers. Yes, mommy. Three instructions. Number one, Pick up the three items, a birthday card, a birthday cake, and a birthday present. Number two, go straight to the castle. And number three, don't talk to strangers. Got it! Hey boys and girls, are you ready to follow me on an adventure through the forest? If you are, let's go! Hello boys and girls, what a beautiful day for a birthday party. The sun is shining brightly in the sky. Now, I need to pick up a birthday cake. Boys and girls, do you know where someone might be able to pick up a birthday cake? In the forest? At the bakery. Bake one? Hey, these are great ideas. I know my friends Hansel and Gretel. They've opened a bakery recently. It's called Bengawan Yolo and they bake the most delicious confectionery, cakes and cookies. I'm sure Hansel and Gretel might be able to bake a cake for the princess. Let's go find them now. Onwards to Hansel and Gretel's bakery! But little did little Red know, the big bad wolf was back. He was lurking through the forest and he recognized that voice anywhere. Well, 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 what do we have here? Little Red is on her way to a birthday party. Could this be the same Little Red that almost got me killed by a hunter? What? Because I was a bad wolf? What? Because I swallowed the grandmother? No. Well, she was naggy and I was hungry, so... What? I tricked Little Red. Ah, pff, what do you know? All I can hear you saying is, please eat Little Red, please eat Little Red. And I will. Thank you very much, little children, for that suggestion. <laughs> so where can I find Little Red now? Where is she off to? Oh, you don't want to tell me. 
Well, I already know. I overheard her saying that she is on her way to Hansel and Gretel's bakery. <laughs> and I know all the shortcuts in this forest. I shall take my revenge and swallow up that little girl. <laughs> See you later, boys and girls. <laughs> This brother and sister team, they bake the best cakes. I'm sure they can help me whip something up. Hansel, Gretel, it's me, Little Red. Hmm. Boys and girls, do you see Hansel and Gretel? What? They're hiding? Where? Hansel is beside the blender and Gretel? Beside the toaster? Hmm. Oh, there you are, guys. Why are you hiding? And hey, wait, why are all your shelves empty? What happened to your bread and cake and cookies? Is he gone? Who? The big bad wolf. He came and ate everything up. Our cakes, our pastries, our cookies. There's nothing left. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. Then where is the big bad wolf now? He asked us if you had come earlier, but we knew he was up to no good, so we told him that you had already left. Then he said he was going to chase you, but not before eating up all our pastries and cupcakes and cakes and buns and cookies. <laughs> you better be careful, Little Red. The big bad wolf says he was out to take his revenge. Take his revenge? Oh dear. All right, I will be careful. You know, the last time he tried to trick me into picking flowers so that he could eat my grandmother. <gasps> uh -huh. I will be careful and I better be on my way now. Thank you so much, Hansel and Gretel. And I'm sorry about your bakery. Oh, don't worry. We're really good bakers. We'll recover in no time. Maybe you can go to the nearby village to get a cake. Oh, great. Take care, Little Red. And good luck. Thank you, Hansel and Gretel. Thank you, boys and girls. Bye-bye. And so Little Red continued on her journey. But she still needed to pick up the three things her mother had instructed her to. Remember what they were? A birthday cake, a birthday card, a birthday present. <laughs> well, I guess it's back to the forest to look for the village. Hmm. Hey, look over there. It's a beautiful field with lots of green grass and lots of lovely flowers. Perhaps the village might be nearby. Mm, I can cross the river by that bridge. Okay, wait. Hey, hi there, Billy Goat Graf brothers. How are you? Be careful, Little Red. Hello, Little Graf. Don't go across the bridge. The mean troll lives there. The mean troll? But I thought you three got rid of the troll. We did, but then we didn't realize that he was a good swimmer. So he swam all the way back up the river and now is back to guard the bridge. Oh dear me, whatever shall I do? Don't worry, Little Red. Sometimes the troll loves to jump into the water for a swim. He found a new hobby. <laughs> so when he's in the water, then the bridge is clear. Well, thank you, Big Brother Graf. Thank you, three of you. I better be on my way now. By the way, how are you? We're good. The grass is greener on the other side. Well, I guess it is. I better go. You take care. I'll be careful to look out for the mean, nasty troll. Bye-bye. Let's go, boys and girls. And so, Little Red made her way to the bridge. Dun, da, dun, bum, bum. No troll inside. <laughs> oh, but I better check. Boys and girls, can you help me? I need your help to pretend to be little goats crossing the bridge. Now, goats bleat. They make this sound. Meh, meh, meh. Can you try it? Meh, meh, meh. That's right. Now, we're going to make the sound together. And if the troll hears us, he might come out. So let's try it together. Ready? 
One, two, three. Me, me, me. Oh, the coast is clear. I think the troll is out for a swim. I can get across to the other side safely. Yay! <laughs> Little Red, we meet again. <laughs> yes, it is I, the big bad wolf. Oh, don't worry about the troll. I ate him for lunch. And for dessert, I shall have you. <laughs> There's nowhere to run now, little red. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want to take my revenge. Revenge? Oh my, oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I can't possibly jump into the river. The currents are too strong. Oh, if only there was a boat. Just then, Little Red heard three voices calling out to her. They were coming from underneath the bridge. Come on, Little Red, jump off the bridge and we'll catch you. Yeah, we borrowed this top from the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. Jump off now and we'll row away to safety. In the nick of time, the three little pigs to my rescue. See you, big bad wolf. Looks like you're going to be hungry again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Looks like Little Red managed to escape the big bad wolf yet again with the help of the three pig brothers. They brought her to the eldest brother's house that was made of brick. Wow, your house of brick looks beautiful. Such an eclectic design. Straw hats, straw bags, wooden toys. It's beautiful. Why, thank you, Little Red. You see, the big bad wolf blew my house of straw in. So I gathered all the straw and started to weave them into straw hats, straw bags, straw baskets. Well, the big bad wolf blew my house of sticks in. So I decided to take those pieces of wood and sticks. I chopped them up into very fine pieces, put some water in them and boiled them together until they became a paste. Then I spread them out into thin sheets and waited for them to dry. And? And then I made paper. I just peeled them off the trays and I had paper. Look up there. All right. That's right, paper comes from trees and wood. That's wonderful, you two. Hey, I have an idea. You see, I was on my way to the princess's third birthday and I needed to pick up a birthday card, a birthday cake and a birthday present. And since you three have paper in your house, maybe you could help me make a card. <gasps> Of course we can! In fact, we have some lovely markers over here where you can write a personalized message. That sounds like a great idea. A birthday card from Little Red and the three little pigs. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna put you here and here. Okay, which color shall we pick for the princess? Mm, orange. What about pink? Pretty in pink. Okay, boys and girls, what shall we write in this card? other than just happy birthday. Let's write something sweet, something encouraging, a well wish. Okay, dear princess, here's wishing you happiness. Mm, what else? Joy, laughter, and lots of love. Love from Little Red, and the three little pigs. Okay, and I shall fold it and put it into my basket. Hey, boys and girls, you too can write a card for someone. You don't have to wait for its birthday or special occasion to show some appreciation. What's that sound? Uh, I think it's the big bad wolf again. He's outside our house of brick and he's huffing and puffing. Little pigs, little pigs, and little red, let me in, or I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your house in. <gasps> 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 
Why is this house always so difficult to blow down? <sighs> he never learns. Little Red, you better go soon. You can leave by the back door. The big bad wolf doesn't know about it. He's too silly to find out. <laughs> All right. Thank you, three little pigs. Bye-bye. And so, once again, with the help of the three little pigs, Little Red was able to outsmart the big bad wolf. And yay! She managed to pick up one of the three items, a birthday card. But she still had two more items to get, a birthday cake and present. Boys and girls, I have to be on my tippy toes and sneak away really quietly so the big bad wolf doesn't hear me escaping. Ow! Whoa, watch where you're going! Hey, the three blind mice! Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. Funny, that's usually our excuse. Don't mind Grumpy. Hello, little Red. Nice to hear from you. Where are you going? Well, I was going to the princess's third birthday party, but I still have two more items on my list that I need to find. Well, what are they? I need to find a birthday cake and a birthday present. Hmm, hey, why don't you go to the old shoemaker's house? It's just down the path and behind the oak tree. Yeah, the old shoemaker's wife bakes the best carrot cakes. I'm sure she'll be able to help you. Wow, that sounds yummy already. Oh, I better be on my way now, little mice. Thank you so much for your help. Take care. Boys and girls, are you ready? Let's go to the old shoemaker's house. Oh, my dear little red, I'm afraid we've run out of flour. That's right. Otherwise, I can bake you a delicious carrot cake. <laughs> my wife, Carotine, here bakes the most delicious carrot cake. In fact, she bakes and eats a lot of carrot cake that she has sort of turned into a carrot. <laughs> oh, you! Why don't you take a rest, my dear Carotine? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we ask the elves for help? Boys and girls, can you help me? On the count of three, I need you to shout, Hey elves, please come out! Can you do that? Great! Okay, let's try. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hey elves, please come out! Uh, maybe we're not loud enough. A little louder? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hey elves, please come out! I think I hear them. It's coming from inside. Hello, little elves. This is Little Red. Hello, Little Red. Well, Little Red was looking to find a cake, but the missus is out of flour, and I was hoping that you both could help. Cake? Oh. Oh, you can't bake a cake. Shoes! That's right! The both of you can make shoes! Hey, Little Red, these two elves make the most amazing shoes! Oh my! Little shoes by the famous Little Elves! That would make a great gift for the princess's third birthday! And it would help me with my list of three things. Do you think I can buy them from you, please? Oh, <laughs> well, they say it's free of charge. They would like to bless the little girl with a gift too. Oh, boys and girls, do you think you could help us? The elves need you to help them say the magic rhyme as they sew the shoes. Please? Please? Okay, great. Okay, elves, let me put you to your workstations. And boys and girls, okay, it's really easy. I want you to use your finger. We are going to pretend that this is the needle that we're going to sew the pieces of leather to make the shoes. It's really simple. You can repeat after me. Up and down, up and down, see the needle pulling round. Now you try. Up and down, up and down, see the needle pulling round. Good job. Stitch and sew, stitch and sew. Now a brand new shoe to show. Ta-da! 
Can you try? Stitch and sew, stitch and sew. Now a brand new shoe to show. Ta-da! Well done. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Needles up. Up and down, up and down. See the needle pulling round. Stitch and sew, stitch and sew. Now a brand new shoe to show. Ta-da! I hear it. I think it's ready. <laughs> wow, boys and girls, look what we have here. The most beautiful sparkly pair of shoes. Wow, these are the most beautiful and sparkly shoes I've ever seen. The princess is going to love them. Thank you, little elves. Thank you, Mr. Shoemaker. Thank you, Mrs. Shoemaker. Oh, I better be on my way. Bye bye. And so Little Red checked off another item from her list. Birthday present. But she still needed to get a birthday cake. However, all that walking around had gotten her so tired and hungry. If only there was a place where she could rest and get a little snack to eat. I'm so hungry. What's that smell? It smells like yummy porridge. What do you know? It's the house of the three bears just up ahead. My friend Goldilocks hangs out there a lot too. After she apologized to the three bears, they forgave her and now they're great friends. Hey, maybe they have some porridge that I can eat too. Hey, Little Red, come on in. Let me introduce you. This is Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and the little cutie over there is Baby Bear. Hey Bears, Little Red was on the way to the castle to celebrate the princess's third birthday. But she was walking and walking and it was a really long journey and she was getting hungry. So I invited her for lunch. That's great Little Red. Why don't you join us for some delicious porridge made by the Magic Porridge Pot. It never runs out, so there's always enough for guests. Hey, someone's knocking at the door. I wonder who it could be. I'll go check. Why, hello. I am the milkman. Would you like to buy some milk? What? I look different today. My, my ears, well, all the better to hear you with, my dear. My, my eyes, all the better to see you with, my dear. There's no need to be so rude. All the better to smell you with, my dear. Ooh, my teeth. Well, all the better to eat you with, my dear. Oh no, it's the big bad wolf. Stop! What? Please don't eat us. Can I offer you some yummy porridge instead? Porridge? Why would I want porridge when I can have Little Red and her friends? Oh, but this is a yummy porridge. It's the appetizer. Have it before you eat us all. <laughs> well then, serve me this precious porridge of yours. I shall have it before I eat all of you. <laughs> and so, the three bears gave the porridge to the wolf to eat. But little did he know that he was eating from the magic porridge pot. The wolf ate and ate and ate and could not stop because the magic porridge pot did not stop cooking. Oh dear, I'm so full. My tummy is big and heavy. I think I need to lie down. Oh, oh but, but, but please don't, don't, don't catch me or hurt me. I'm really too full to do anything. Oh. <laughs> Wolf, you've been mean and greedy. Why are you trying to eat me? Well, I wanted my revenge. Revenge? Whatever for? What purpose would it serve? Well, I, I wanted to feel good. Good? Feel good about what? I... I don't know. See? I tell you what, let's call a truce. You stop eating me and you can have all the food you want with a magic porridge pot. How does that sound? Um, oh, sounds good actually. Deal? Deal. 
<laughs> Little Red did it! <laughs> Along with the three bears, they showed how ridiculous the big bad wolf was. But look at the time. Little Red needed to make her way quickly to the castle. But boys and girls, what is one more thing that she still needed to get? Yes, a cake! Oh my, I have to make my way to the castle. But wherever am I going to find a cake this late? It would need to take magic to create a cake out of nowhere. That's it. Magic. Hey, on the way to the castle, there is a village. That's where Ma Liang lives. Maybe he can help you. Ma Liang? <gasps> That's right. Ma Liang and his magic paintbrush. Maybe he can help. Thank you, Papa Bear. Boys and girls, are you ready to carry on our adventure? Well, if you are, what are you waiting for? Let's go! My friend, Little Red, welcome to Chinatown! You have traveled a long way, but you have come to the right village. My magic paintbrush is used to help people who are in need. It looks like you've had a crazy adventure looking for this cake. I shall help you. I shall paint you a cake and you can watch it magically come to life. Are you ready? Here we go. Here, here, the base of the cake, the top of the cake, and the candle. Now wait for it. One, two, three. Ta-da! There you have it, Little Red. A yummy cake fit for a princess. Oh, you better be on your way. The castle is just up ahead. And so, Ma Liang, with his magic paintbrush, helped Little Red find the final item on her list. Little Red made it to the castle in time for the party. <gasps> Little Red, you made it! Hello, Little Red. Welcome to our castle. Hey, say hello, Little Red. Hello, Little Red. Hello, Princess. I've got some special gifts for you. A handmade, handwritten birthday card. A pair of pink sparkly shoes. And a beautiful birthday cake. These things are not just for me, but they're from all the wonderful friends that I've met along the way. And we would like to wish you a happy third birthday. What a gorgeous cake. Why don't you blow out the candles, sweetheart? One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yay! <laughs> the end. Wow, wasn't that fun? And so many mention of things that came in threes. Boys and girls, can you remember some of these things? Yes, the three little pigs. What else? Goldilocks and the... Three bears! Aha! Uh -huh. That's right. The three Billy Goat Gruff Brothers. Meh! 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 The three blind mice. <laughs> Good job, boys and girls. Well, you've come to the end of the story. Did you have fun? I certainly did. If you enjoyed today's story, please click like and subscribe to our channel. For more updates on Kids Club activities, as well as our new weekly arts and craft projects, please follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Mommies and Daddies, Gateway Kids Club is a free program and your donation helps to keep this program running, as well as support artists like myself. To donate, please see the link below or visit our website. See you next week for more exciting stories. Meantime, Happy Birthday Gateway Theater! Bye-bye! <laughs>